Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the different modes for zooming the camera in the 3D world. To get started, let's quickly review how to focus the camera in the 3D world. I'll start by going to the eCatalog panel, expand Models by Type, expand Robots, scroll down, click Visual Components, and I'll add a generic articulated robot to the 3D world, which you can see here. Now if I want to focus on this robot, I'll go ahead and fill my view, and notice that right now my focus is going in this direction, but let's say I want to focus on this part of the robot. I can right click on that part, then click this command here called Center in 3D View. You can see now the camera is centered on this part of the robot, and when I zoom, that's what I'm zooming towards. A shortcut for this command is to hold down the control key and right click in the 3D world. So let's say I want to focus on this logo here in the robot. I'll hold down the control key, right click, and now the camera is focused on this part. So let's actually pan the camera up just a bit, and let's actually focus on this logo here. So hold down the control key, right click, and now I'm focused on this part. Now the default mode for zooming in the 3D world is to allow you to zoom through objects towards your center of interest or what the camera is focusing on. So if I just zoom closer towards that logo, notice that eventually I will pass through it. And it's taking quite a while, but there we go. And shortcut for zooming is also to hold down the shift key and the right mouse button. And notice I can zoom a bit faster here by using, instead of using the mouse scroll wheel. So I can go right through it. And a good example of this, actually let me clear the 3D world by pressing the control plus N key. And I go back to my e-catalog panel. And under models by type, I'll click demo layouts. And let's load the lab layout, which you can see here. So I'll just drag the layout into the 3D world. And you can see this is quite a large layout. so. I have these walls here, so let's say my center of interest is this part in the machine. So I can use the shortcut or right click and then click center in 3D view. And if I rotate the camera, it keeps that center. But now I have a wall blocking me here. So let's hold on the shift key and the right mouse button and zoom towards and we pass through the walls towards that center of interest and just keep on going through and notice we have the camera clipping eventually but you can zoom through those objects towards your center of interest. Now the other mode for zooming the camera allows you to zoom towards your center of interest but not through it. Let's now click the File tab to go backstage, click Options, and under your General Options, here is the Zoom Mode setting, and by default it should be Zoom Through to allow you to zoom through everything in the 3D world. But now, let's set this to be Keep Center of Interest. So this will allow you to zoom through any objects but not past your center of interest. So I'll click OK to save the change. And what I mean by center of interest is that you can't just pick some arbitrary point in the 3D world. So if I was to right click here and center the 3D world view, notice it doesn't do anything. You can only center on an object. Likewise, if I right click the floor here and try to center my camera on the floor, it doesn't work. So we still have that center view here on this machine. But let's say our center in the 3D world is now this wall. So I'll center in the 3D view, I'll zoom towards it, and notice I am not passing through it. So that's the different zoom mode to keep your center of interest. Let's now make our center of interest that machine again, so I'll right click, center in 3D view, and there it is. Let's zoom out, and now let's try to pass through this wall towards our center of interest. So here we go. So we just keep on passing through the walls towards the center of interest, and eventually we're there. Now before I end the video, I want to give you one more example of the Keep Center of Interest Zoom Mode. So a typical use case would be a robot that's welding something. So I went ahead and created this small layout here, and let's now teach the robot to go to this edge here. Let's actually move the part a little bit that way. Then let's jog the robot to that edge there. So sometimes you get get into these tight corners. So if I just zoom all the way towards there, and let's make that my center of interest. There we go. And if I zoom, 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 notice I can still keep that center of interest and not pass through it while programming the robot. So this can be very helpful if you need to teach the robot some tight corners. All right, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. 
And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.